and so you can send messages. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and let me check and make sure that my sound's off, that way it doesn't go super loud. Hopefully YouTube mm. will send you all notifications. If not, I do live stream, try to make it like clockwork, but it's like a really shoddy clock. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, or if you're watching this live, whatever time it is right now where you are. Hey everybody, hey Kaylee, hey Lisa, hey Brittany, hey Stephanie. Freedom Pool Pro. Guys, okay. So I was losing my mind on Tuesday. I think that was pretty apparent. Um, but, oh my god, this has been driving me crazy. This is why I never wear bangs when there's a fan around. Um, hey, aloha. Um, I'm doing a lot better than I was on Tuesday. Hey, I'm a beautiful man. Decisions were made. Decisions were made. And, uh, 5 a.m. on Friday, <laughs> Australia. Time traveling witch! <laughs> um, okay. We didn't buy any property. We're not gonna be buying any property. We're not gonna we're not gonna be renting anywhere. Um, we got a quote. Well, we had one of our close friends come in who is an electrician. Um and well, got some was trained by an electrician. Right. Well he's he's licensed and stuff too. Is he? Yeah. Like he hasn't renewed it recently. Oh. But Okay, anyway. Yeah, anyways, um, and got some preliminary quotes, just like ballpark, um, and that is way more affordable than what we thought it was going to be, and then I was out there hanging with my chickens, um, feeding them pork chops, actually, uh, cause my chickens are spoiled, <laughs> and I uh, might have given Randy and I food poisoning, um, but the chickens are fine. I was hanging with my chickens and I was like, y'all don't even use your big coop. Like, and I was looking and they were looking at me and I was looking at them and I was like, I'm gonna take your shed. It's like a 10 by 8 or a 10 by 10 shed. I think it's just 10 by 8 actually. Uh, with a loft. And like, it's really solidly built because like, my bonus dad Fred built it. Like, Randy and I helped, but it was mostly Fred. <laughs> like, um, and I'm like, we were perfectly in need of some work, like insulation and walls and stuff, building in our backyard. Um, and to get like a hundred amps, like a line of a, like, out there, uh, which we think we might actually up it to 200, because there's going to be, I can see us using up 200 amps pretty quickly, or a hundred amps pretty quickly. Um, to do like the trenching and everything, he's like, top like 500 like and that's for the breaker box and everything and he's like I've got an extra breaker box that you can probably use and I was like holy crap but yeah I'm kicking the chickens out of their coop and I'm moving out there um where do they go when it's cold um I had to fight them last winter just to get the chickens to actually go into their coop when it was they cold have a much smaller coop. yeah they do have a small coop that I like to I used to keep them in, but then that's when I had like four banties. Um, but now I've got like six big birds and one banty, and they don't get along very well in the little coop. Uh, so we're just going to enclose the area where they do like to nest, which is right on top of one of the rabbit cages um, under the overhanging part of the yard. We're just going to enclose that. Um, and I'm going to clean out the shed, like clean it real well. Uh, we're going to insulate and put up drywall. Uh, I've been like on Pinterest. Um, that's the sound of Randy shipping Etsy, by the way. I got the boxes all packaged up and we've got Etsy shipping out today, so that's good. Um, but uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna put in like a vent, like how you would put like over a stove to pull the heat from my torch and possibly the kiln up and out because I would like to like stick an air conditioner in the wall um she shed chick shed yeah and it's just I don't know I feel like Tuesday I felt everywhere like because y'all in 2020 Randy and I don't have a single show booked for 2020 like this is le ah 
yeah, Sabrina says I got my craft crate today and I absolutely love it. Right on. Oh, I'm so glad. Which, by the way, thank you guys for your feedback on our poll and on my, like, Tuesday night meltdown. Um, I think that was Tuesday, at least, that I posted on Patreon. Um, what about the postman that won't pick up? You can only bitch and complain so much. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, we schedule pickups. We print off scan sheets. So he only has to scan, like, at most you five things. I had to chase him down. I was waddling my fat ass up the road, being like, excuse me, sir. And he was like, well, I'm not going to carry it in my bag. And I was just like, you've walked past this pile of mail for two days. Like, that we had to... Anyways. You've already done a scheduled that, I'm not going to get worked up about that again. There's only so much we can do. The stuff got shit. Thank dog. Like, who? <gasps> Okay, I'm worked up again. <laughs> but, okay, uh, happy thoughts. Let's think. Um, what was I talking about? Hey, Amanda. She says, what a great idea. I was afraid you were getting over your head expensive. Yeah, and that's the thing is, I was scattered and everywhere. And, like, I, I feel like if I don't have a direction to go in, then I don't cope. Well, Ugh, this is driving me crazy. Give me a sec. I gotta staple it to my head. Ow. Oh, I found my hairbrush. Yep. That for like two days. Um. <laughs> chicken shed. Yeah. Um. I tried to be cute and have bangs, y'all. She keeps tickling up my nose. Okay, there we go. Um. <laughs> what were we talking about again? We'll probably craft today. I hope. Maybe. Um. I don't do well being in just treading water if I don't have something that I feel like I'm working towards. Um, <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's funny, though. Ooh, that's good stuff. Okay. Sorry. Cheers, everybody. With a, hopefully a cup of something good to drink while we hang out. I felt really scattered. I felt very inspired by this dream of having studio space and being able to host classes and all of these different things and I'm still in love with the dream but I needed a more plausible baby step between here and there because if we're gonna get into any kind of debt for anything um it's gonna be for something perfect because, but now I'm feeling much more refocused on we're not going to into cruise control, going like five over the speed limit, uh, to, to get ourselves completely out of debt from my student loan because then we're free. And I, and I was looking at Randy and I was like, that's like, that's like a $70,000 mortgage if we were to get the place up the street. And I'm like, what would this place be like? if we put $70,000 into it. That'd be pretty nice. Like, <gasps> like, I mean, just putting 20,000 into this house, I feel like would be able to modernize it. I'd have a kitchen. I'd have a shower that's not trash bags and shower curtains stapled to the walls. Like, which I'm not actually exaggerating about that. Like we could get it recited. Dude estimated us at like only 3000 to get the entire house rewired, which is very fortunate that we found that out because the wiring in the bathroom is like dead now. Like it won't turn on uh, anything. It won't turn on. Um, so I hope the house doesn't burn down. Um, but so we feel much more focused. I feel a lot better about taking that expansion step and having it be in a way that y'all see my workspace like I cannot have my torch set up in a place that like if I get up to reach to grab something I knock it over and burn the building down um or at least if I do that I need it to be a building far enough away from my house and the neighbor's houses that I won't like kill a bunch of people um with my crafting um but yeah so I think I think this is going to be I think this is going to be a lot better. Now sometimes, and that's how I function too, is I, I'll dream giant and get super overwhelmed, but then Randy and I will put our heads together, and this time we had Jell's input as well, which was very helpful and encouraging and just very nice, um, and found out to get there to this eventual dream, what are the baby steps? And I think this is going to be the first baby step. Let me make sure I'm not attached to house internet. No, uh, you might need to knock your quality down. 
on the um, on the video if it's buffering super bad. Um, uh, Lamport glass, which I actually have some. I made one of the little mushrooms before Tuesday's live stream that I had made into a uh, a pendant. I'm gonna be keeping these, but like I love, I absolutely love making beads. Um, now we actually have the torch. I was very generously gifted um, a torch to the bunch of y'all sent like tools and uh, like the glasses so I don't burn the, my eyeballs out of my skull um, by looking at the bright light like all Raiders of the Lost Ark style. Um, but I really, and I don't know if you guys, I'm going to turn this around. Nope. Okay. Yeah, uh, sometimes, guys, you just gotta refresh it. I'm not, I, I am live streaming from my phone. But, so, this guy here, where is it at? I don't have a kiln to anneal. Uh, like, I only have, like, a fiberglass blanket that I put the beads in and as to help the cooling happen slow, slowly. Um, and you can see it's very subtle, but it is there, that crack. And I feel like anything that I made, um, anything that I make with these, I don't feel confident in selling. Got leather dye dyed on my thing. Um, I don't feel confident in selling because it's like, I don't want to sell this and have it just break, you know. So I'm testing out a bunch of stuff. Like, I mean, it seems to hold together, but if I had, and it's just a little chili pepper kiln is what I've been looking at for my beads. Um, but I was like, well, or I could go a step up and get, like, a kiln kiln for glass fusing. That way I could make dichroic glass, infused glass, cabochons, um, you know, and stuff. But I really, I just love, I'm terrible at it. I mean, look at that. It's all, like, wonky and misshapen, just like me. Um, but I, I love making them. I've always, like, been fascinated by Lampwork Glass. These were the first three beads that I ever made, ever. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna save these guys, like, these are gonna be buried with me, just so y'all know. Um, <laughs> but it feels like, you know, just falling in love with something that my heart's been drawn to, like, earliest craft shows I'd ever went to as a kid. Again, another little crack. Just breaks my heart, because I love the swirling and the colors and patterns and stuff. But uh, I was fascinated by watching people do lamp work and blown glass. But it always felt like something that was, like, unattainable. Like, it would take so much to get into and was so daunting. And I could literally burn my, like, life down, melt my face off. Like, um, and, you know, Renee, we were looking at a microwave kiln. But a lot of the times, you got to run that microwave for about 20 minutes. Uh, and you can only make very small pieces. Like... I mean, so, <laughs> hey, Christy, oh, there's been so much, uh, but our house microwave, we can't run for more than, like, 10 minutes before it'll burn out the fuse that it's on, and we can't even, um, we can't, well, I I'm trying to get my thoughts straight, babe, but that is a valid point, and I'll bring that up, we can't run the coffee pot in the microwave at the same time, so it's on our house's current electricity um <laughs> so it's like eh, uh that's really hard now i do i am interested in getting a microwave and a microwave kiln when the house is rewired or and or when we have it out into the shed um <laughs> well i'm hoping kelly that if y'all keep being so paid so, so generous as y'all tend to be uh, over on Patreon and buying stuff on Etsy. That's the biggest thing that'll help us kind of uh, get the ball rolling on getting an electrician and stuff. But a lot of it too is uh, we're going to invest the 500 to get electricity strung out to the shed. But, um, ooh, a Gen Ken kiln. I'll have to, let me write that down. I'm actually going to send it to Randy in a message because it's the future and I can't find paper um I forget what we were talking about though give me just a sec gosh come on brain come on hamsters a gen can kill okay 
<laughs> right on, Renee. Jen can kiln for lamprick beads and glass fusing. But yeah, um, and then I wanted to incorporate some uh, lamprick glass and fused glass and stuff into, like these are some examples that uh, Catherine actually sent me. I don't know if she made them or if she purchased them, but it's dichroic. And I think they're just gorgeous. And I actually learned how to do this. You put like some fiber paper to it. Yeah, right, Michelle? And that's, there's somebody on Etsy who does, who had um, posted a really beautiful uh, handmade dragon eye. And I'm just like, oof, I wanna, I wanna. But uh, I'd love to be able to make our own cabochons out of glass to include in our craft along kits and mystery boxes and stuff. Because, um, and that's something that a lot of y'all have given really positive feedback about the, uh, the polymer clay cabochons, but I personally feel like, um, they're thinner than I would like them to be. Um, they're, I, I like working with resin, but for jewelry purposes and anything that's going to be like worn consistently, uh, it can scratch up. Now it can be buffed and polished as well, but it's... You know, I, I want what I send you guys, and if you put your hard work into it, I want it to last forever for you. Uh, so there's that. And, um, I don't know. And with glass, just the nature of it, it always, um, kind of levels back out to around six millimeters thick. Which is very nice. Like, these, I don't think they, uh, full fused. Because it hasn't, like, slumped. But I think that's perfectly fine. Like, it looks like it was fire polished. But, um... If it were full fused, it would have leveled out and spread a little bit more. It wouldn't have had as crispy, clean of lines, I don't think. Um, like right here would be more rounded. Um, and it's... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really excited about this. So, and I, I'll feel like I need to feel confident in what I'm doing. Like, like y'all have been like, Vaughn, you're perfect. What are you talking about? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> So, um, so I might just be going crazy, but, no, that, ooh, it's got a little bit of a nice flat, look at that flash. Y'all want to just look at rocks for, like, three hours? Because I could totally, uh, now this was somebody else's work. Um, this was sent to me by Catherine. A huge box of, like, a bunch of goodies. But, um, whenever Randy and I get back from Dragon Con, before we invest in anything, um, we are taking, uh, classes at Creative Escapes Glass Studio in Springfield, Missouri, and learning just as much as we can, getting as much, uh, hands-on experience and stuff, um, before, you know, going through and investing in our own, even though I, I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want to get, it's still, it's, there's no reason to rush into this except for that I want to need it as, you know, immediately. <clears throat> so there is that <clears throat> excuse me okay uh, I'm getting them okay Sparky Cat says instead of planning a large event at a hotel or convention center maybe take smaller steps to do something for a day or two days at a large pole barn type building or VFW Moose Lodge that'd be cool and that is something that Randy and I have been thinking about Sparky is, is doing um, like smaller makerspace type events where we just do you know like you know, 15 people or something and like travel to a different location or I don't know. It's, we still want to do the very large event. Um, just cause to be able to get, you know, if, if we're going to have, I haven't talked to them personally about it yet, but if we have like, let's say Parawire, cause I love their stuff and I love working with them. If we were to have them in as a sponsor and they like set up a booth and like stuff, I want it, I need it to be profitable for them to come and do that. And to do that, we have to have a large enough event that a lot of people could, um, that a lot of people could come in and buy. If that makes sense. Uh, Elise says, y'all are being really smart by investing in what you have. Thank you. That, that's really validating. Like, thank you. Uh, I can't wait to be able to be a patron so I can help right on. Well, I can't wait to send you like rocks and stuff. Um, <laughs> and Carol says, hey, Carol, last time I talked to you guys, 
The jury that was given to me 300 necklaces, 213 bracelets, lost count on all the earrings after 250. This lady closed her shop and gifted it all to me to help out. Wow. That's amazing, Carol. I bet you'll do great things with that, too. The Creamery Art Center here in Springfield has classrooms for rent. Baby stuff gets together. Yeah. And that's the thing, too, is Randy and I didn't really feel right about investing in property. And no offense to Carthage, but he kind of podunk. Like... <laughs> there is not a whole bunch of anything here that would, you know, inspire people to, like, travel in from anywhere. Uh, whereas, like, Springfield, they have, you know, there's the Tandy Leather there. There's a bunch of other, like, studios and stuff. There's the really cool Bass Pro Shop, uh, like, I forget what it's called. like But th they're bomb-ass aquarium that is amazing. Um, and it's just, I don't know, uh... I think hosting it at venues in other towns is going to be the way to go with that. But it was still, I needed to explore options and things for, um, just too small. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of messing around with this. I needed to explore different options for this dream, uh, cause you never know till you explore it. And it doesn't, it didn't cost us a thing to go and check out these different venues and, you know, Online is pretty much the only way for me unless I travel. Gotcha. Where's a good place to get flat stones? I want to get more of them. I really like to go to eBay. Uh, Amazon has some pretty good stuff, but it's on eBay you can buy individual, like, specific stones. eBay and Etsy both. Um, but on Amazon they do have some where you can, like, buy in bulk a little bit, but then you kind of get whatever they send you. Uh, no, Sandy, we decided instead to invest in uh, the property that we're on, and I'm kicking the chickens out of their coop uh, and turning the chicken shed <laughs> into my Lamport glass shed. We're going to finish up the inside, like get it insulated and like drywalled and then put up like uh, that fireboard that like kind of what you line a fireplace with. Um, mm. That would be really cool to have like a meetup and a, a shopathon at the Tucson Gem Show. That'd be really awesome, actually. <laughs> um, but and I'm looking about putting in like um, a ventilation hood. Hey, Derby, how's it going? I would. I feel like I haven't seen you in like a million years. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It needs more wire. Let's do some square. I know that's half round. No, that's square. Cool. Derp, derp. Yeah, okay. Who here is a Sweeney Todd fan? Like, it could be the, the, like, the Tim Burton one or whatever that they did. It could be, like, just, a, you know, Broadway. Okay, so the song that's, like, okay, sorry, I got booted. But just to pick up where we left off. I've had this song stuck in my head all day. It's the Joanna song, where it's like Joanna, and but I was making some coffee, and just bumbling around in the kitchen. And I was like buying me some pair of wire, Joanna, because I think of that song every time I work with Joanna from Pair of Wire. And Randy was like, "That's kind of weird that you're just singing to Joanna from Pair of Wire," and I was like. So in. <laughs> like, <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I think I'm funny. Yeah, I thought I clicked on the thing. Um, but no, okay, nice ceiling. Yeah, I was busy singing, y'all. Give me a minute. <laughs> Live from out on, I'm busy. <laughs> but no, it's... I don't know if y'all can tell, but we're feeling a lot better um, around here after I stopped stir in the pot but it's i don't know like i i thrive in starting new projects and you know p seed planting but then when it gets to metaphorically this time of year where the garden's completely overgrown and plants are like kind of dying off and it's time to pull things out and replant it that's what it makes me miss the days of ah remember when it was you know february and i didn't have mosquitoes in the yard and it wasn't hundred friggin degrees and you know three hundred percent humidity outside remember I remember um <laughs> and so I, I really thrive in those beginning stages but so to keep myself going 
I'll, you know, start a new project mentally and then think how can I apply this to the ball that I already have rolling so that I can stay passionate and excited and stoked about the, um, <laughs> uh, say, stay stoked about the current project. And that's how I think Randy and I have kind of run the business for, you know, 11 years now is it's this main path that we're on, but I'm always deviating into like, ooh, look at this, ooh, look at distraction, ooh, a new project. Um, just because it keep it keeps me interested. Where's the squirrel? Oh, yeah, I, I'm I'm really digging it too. And then we think, uh, cause I'm like, if I outgrow that space very quickly, which is a real possibility, cause it's only like ten foot by eight foot. Um, uh, we then will it'll still give us time to be saving up to get a 10 foot by 16 foot shed built on the uh, slab, the concrete slab that we have out in the yard. Oof, I'm running low on my half round. I don't know what I'm making today, Carol. I'm just kind of, I guess a pendant. I just, just felt like rummaging. Oh, and I did this all wrong. I didn't ma I make sure anything lined up first or anything. Oof. This is a mess. Oh well. This is life now. Yeah, normally I would have like, yeah, let, let's get this straightened back out and do this right. Oh boy. Mm hmm Yeah, and that's the thing is that um uh if we build if we end up building a much larger shed on the concrete slab then this shed will become Randy's woodworking shed. Just for something always needs done in the house. Like there's always some garden thing that needs made or it's just it's as a homeowner I feel like it's very useful to um to have a place that power tools get set up and go. And Randy's actually I, I think if we could get him a lathe, I think he could work some crazy creative magic. Um and I'm just, I have a lot of, I've seen him work with the very limited tools and setup that we ha currently have, and he does really great work. And so I'm like, I just, I can't even imagine how great it would be for him, like what his work would look like if he had a proper wood, sh wood you know, shop. And he's done so much that he... <laughs> Every place we've ever lived, he's, like, sacrificed everything but a little corner to have his computer and computer chair in so that I can have, you know, my version of a wood shop. And it's, I'd love to be able to give him some space to do something that I can then turn around and try to monetize. <laughs> um, or just get some kitchen cabinets out of the deal. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Not to be like, oh, everything's self-serving, but I am kind of like, it's it's handy to know somebody who's a woodworker, I'm just saying. <laughs> Build it, and they will come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Buying me some pairs of wire. Huh? Joanna. <laughs> If you ever forget who to email whenever you need something from Parawire. <laughs> oh boy. No, none of that. Sing. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to probably use up this uh, half round today. You monitoring trolls, love? Okay. <laughs> it's free creepy advertising for Parawire Thursday. <laughs> you darn right it is, Kelly. This is a non-paid sponsored post. But... <laughs> he does.
We have a permanent property or rental here. So much more in the area. My folks are near the state park. You can like Right on. Uh, have you guys looked into Wayfair for a 10 by 16 building? They have them. Uh, I haven't. We actually, we are very lucky to know our, it's the same friend who's an electrician. He's like, I can build you that shed for 1,500, 2,000 tops. And he's like, and we could swing it as a, uh, a 12 by 16 instead of a 10 by 16. I was like, yeah, but we still want to be able to use our driveway as a drive through like to where we can enter like through the back from the back alley and then like come around. Um, so it's like, we don't know how we feel about giving up on that space, but honestly, heck, we'll see. Yeah, and that's after we've wired up and done work with the shed that we already have on the property. So, hey, Bluejin. <laughs> hey, Twisted. Do what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're we're gonna hire somebody who's currently licensed and insured and everything to add in the box out in the shed and then he's gonna help us wire it to like all of the outlets and stuff what did you do with all the loops you just made the other day you were oh um I, I straightened it out so that I could do that weaving um the other yesterday's video was oh, where to go I was playing around with it um I would definitely I think recommend the soft soft flex wire that I was working with yesterday. I don't have an opinion yet about whether I prefer it to pair a wire because honestly it's going to be a hard call like a hard competition because I've been using pair wire for so long and because it's like I just I and I don't feel like I'd have to use one exclusively over the other like it's just nice to have like options or alternatives or if one place is sold out of one size or if one place is like better shipping to international than another like uh I buy beads from a def bunch of different places. I think it's perfectly okay to buy my wire from a bunch of different places too. But uh, it, it's just hard to compete. I, I am going to be using more of the soft flex wire, but it's hard to compete with I've been using para wire for like almost a decade. Gosh, that's bothering me so much. I wore gloves all day yesterday, uh, staining leather, and I, it still seeped through. And I'm like, dang, I love it. Uh, Carol, we won't be having a giveaway today. Um, we're not doing any more giveaways until after Dragon because I am very, very, very behind on, uh, actually shipping out our giveaway stuff. So, <laughs> hey, Lori. Do what, love? Yeah. Yeah. We took care of Patreon and Etsy with our shipping budget. And then we just gotta wait. It, it's it's hard sometimes prioritizing. We'll do this task over this one or that one. Seeing if I can't get like a cute little nope. Do it, love. Oh my Jesus, Kristen. <laughs> Sorry, I looked up to see. I mean, they were very polite about it. <laughs> oh goodness. Sorry, that that startled me because I was like, sure, and then I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mikio, how's it going? And this is definitely very Lisa Barth influenced from her book, Timeless Wire Weaving. 
that kind of covers right where the flash is though okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right okay so I'm gonna pull that out real quick but yeah so now I'm on Instagram and Pinterest looking at other people's glass studios when I should be making inventory for dragon and I'm super obsessed and um, I'm very 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 open to if anybody has any like suggestions and ideas and like anecdotal well I did this and I wish I had done that advice for putting together a glass studio because it seems like like I've never built in a structure um, around this is going to be studio space before so um, this that alone is very exciting yeah I like that it leaves where the flash is nice and open though honestly I think I messed up did I mess you up yeah I messed you up okay ah right on I was very pleased with the mystery kit I had gotten a comment um, from Onia actually that which I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to disagree with her, but I, I have not experienced this personally. That sometimes uh, with the kits, like, I don't know if they sent me more than what is typically in a kit. Um, like, I don't know. But I know that the people themselves have been really great to work with. And uh, products change, but the people within a company, especially if it's, you know, a smaller company like that, um... I'll stick around just if the people are nice, because that's that's a rarity. Yeah, and um, we're keeping close eye on city ordinances, Penny. That's a really good point. This is Labradorite. Mm, see that really pretty flash going on in there. Oh my! <laughs> We've got quite a few uh, trolls today. Broken flat notes. Do what? Right. So I'm having a hard time with the symmetry on this one. Oh well. It's his life. I guess if I could just establish a nice center line, that would be a good start. Do what, love? What's not? Yeah. I mean, because it's like, I'll have that discussion. Is Right now just isn't the time or place. Okay. Oof. Too many wires. Sticking up at it everywhere. Okay, there we go. Do I count as a troll? You are our honorary designated troll, Derby. <laughs> uh, if you can hear us, um, Dania, you might need to refresh the page. Yeah, I wasn't going to have that conversation, babe. You know? Yeah. Surge the heck out of it. Really? Well, at least it's not something personal. That's good to know, Nina. I mean, it stinks, but... This, ooh, I have coffee. I forgot. Oh, it's cold. Oh, that's good stuff. Dang it, though. 
find it while we... There we go. Okay. La, 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 la. <laughs> uh, this is their vintage bronze in 18 gauge square, 18 gauge half round, and somewhere in here, yeah, on the back, we have some 16 gauge round. I was kind of just grabbing, um, like, just add them a little scrap bin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now that is a good idea, Penny. I'm going to have to, I've got an ice cube tray that I specifically use for, um, you know, I just had a brain blast, <laughs> um, that I use for making coffee ice cubes, but I haven't used it in a minute because it's been sitting on the kitchen counter with dish soap turned upside down in it to make all the dish soap drain to the top. Oh yeah, hey Randy, we need to get more coffee tonight. Okay. I'm out. Out, I say. I'm just experimenting now. Oh, I think I'm gonna like that. It's a little like wonky, like it's not like symmetrical, which is killing me. Um, but killing me softly with your song. I don't know what I'm doing, but I like it. Da, 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 da. Apple pie moonshine is the bomb diggity. Just saying. Killing I don't know why I just feel like cranking like, I don't know, some Al Green maybe? I don't like that right there. Now this is something that I can say I do love about Parawire is even on their thicker gauges, um, I can just bend it around and bend it around and like, do what? Yeah, a little bit. That is wire wrapping. All right? They're warping my fragile little mind. Honestly, though, it's upping user engagement, so I'm like, dude, however y'all want to spend your free time, I guess. Oh, I did want to make a note. Um, kind of off topic, but it is relevant eventually. Um, I am getting people's emails and stuff and messages, and I am reading them, but I have not had an opportunity to properly respond to a lot of y'all's messages and stuff. So um, if you've sent a message and a reminder message, we're hashtag after dragon. Like I just cannot just yet uh, be able to reply to everybody. Um, I wanna be able to sit down and give y'all my undivided attention and address you know, your messages and answer your questions and stuff. So uh, please bear with us. And if I have replied and it seemed a little short, I'm very sorry for that. It wasn't my intention. Kind of like that. That's a what? Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, but I went to. Twenty-eight gauge. It's my favorite. Labradorite is one of my favorite stones. Have you worked with ammonite or fire agate? Talk about addiction. <laughs> I will sit forever in the rock shop pouring over fire agate remnants. I have a problem. Actually, there, there's a. I have I have wrapped ammonites. Um, I haven't worked with fire agate though. There is a gem and mineral show in Joplin next month. So, I think I'm gonna go to that and just sit there and pet a bunch of rocks. I think that'll be really good. Okay, I'm gonna pop the stone out just real quick. Because I'll be able to put it back in. But I just want to be able to have some space to get my fingers in there. And we're going to wrap. One. Two. Three. <gasps> wow, thank you, Susan! 
for and as we get up so, so closer to the date um we may do like a little bit of a hangout and like be like hey guys we're gonna be here from now to now and uh go and just just hang out at the gem show but if y'all are in the area i mean this is in no way official yet i have not talked to randy i don't even know if it's still going on i think i found it about about it last year um but i think if i remember correctly it also not to be this way but there's no telling if it's like i don't know if it's like a good gem and mineral show if that makes sense like i don't know going to have a very good selection or if it's going to be like kind of worth uh tra traveling a long way for though honestly and we might be crystal mining that weekend i don't know i don't know I really appreciate that. Like that that stuff helps out more than you guys know. But also, in other way that um cuz we're not sure how much percentage we get of what you guys donate through like super chat and stuff, um we do have a tip jar that y'all can donate through just like through PayPal. Uh I think the links for that are down in the video description and then also on our Etsy store, um we sell digital templates. And so that's something that if you want to donate but you don't want to use PayPal, you can go and just buy some digital templates. <clears throat> or you could buy, you could get something for your money. And we've got some crap boxes, which are like fun miscellaneous like junk that like, it's the beads that like I spilled the bead trade like three years ago and I still haven't sorted it. And I'm like, this needs a new home. It needs somebody who doesn't want to just set it on fire. Um... Oh, I'm really glad you like them, Jackie. Um, on your Patreon, what does it mean when it says you get access to all the benefits of the previous tiers? Does that mean if you are $50 tiers, you get all the gabs and stuff from them too? Um, the $50 tier, well, okay, so if you're a $50 pledger, you get, you can see the posts that I post that are, uh, you know, the $1 and up. I do, like, behind the scenes. Not quite daily, but I'm working towards it. On the $5 and up, you get even more behind the scenes. On the $10, we do digital download, or you can, we have the new cab box for US, uh, continental US only, but um, we'll ship you a box of just some cabs each month. Like, it's like a craft along kit, but it's kind of smaller scale. If you're like, I don't want the wire, I just want the cabs, um, then we, we do have that as an option. Uh, and it's a little bit better of a deal than buying them individually off of our Etsy uh, and then if you pledge $20 you get the same cabs that are in the $10 cab box but you also get one or two spools of parawire in addition to um, or chain mail depending on which tier you select um, as well as like little earring kits and sometimes some resin pieces like we I try to gear it around a specific project we won't be having any specific project videos for August because y'all I am busy out of my mind um <laughs> Penny do not even tempt me if you give me a thousand dollars I think that's prostitution but I will sit here and craft with you naked like or did you mean Sam and Z being naked I don't know I don't care that's a lot of money <laughs> like that fixes some bills for me <laughs> So, anyways, I'm way too lax about my willingness to be naked around people. Um, change of subject. And then, so, with the $50 tier, you'll get, it's like the $20 tier package, but, uh, you just get a lot more. And you also get, um, whenever I finally get my button under me, hashtag after dragon, um, We'll be putting together our sponsors page on both of our websites, as well as like down in the video descriptions and stuff. Um, yeah, right. Carefully, uh, we will list you as one of our sponsors, and your name will be listed forever on the videos that we produce while you are a sponsor. And I'm sorry I've been really slow about that, but again, busy out of my mind, <coughs> just trying to get things together. And right now we've only gotten the information from like two people in the $50 tier to like sponsor or for their sponsorship information, like uh, their shop names and stuff. So there is that. 
Um, a better half and I would like to spend a day crafting with you. Would you be interested? Oh, well, you don't gotta pay us. Can live streams get demonetized? This will... Yeah, probably. I don't... I'm so... I don't like... Uh, the whole reason, y'all, that I became my own boss is so that I didn't have to bow to someone else's will of this is what's acceptable in the workplace and this is how you need to dress and this is how you need to act and this is what you need to say. And it's like, I don't feel like I predict... I mean, children probably shouldn't watch my stuff, but there's... I don't say anything that is any worse than what they've heard if they've ridden a public school bus. And I, I do th feel like that is some truth. Um, but <laughs> I don't feel like... Uh, I don't feel like I'm too terribly inappropriate, uh, but I probably am. But also, I'm not forcing y'all to watch. This is a free live stream. So, if YouTube wants to demonetize me, budget, I guess. Like, I don't know. I can't live my life by their rules. Anarchy! <laughs> so, there's that. Don't know what it means, but I love it. Um, yeah, so it's, I don't know. <laughs> Technique you're using to cinch the wires. I have so much trouble with that. Do you, or would you do a tutorial on it? What it's called? Oh, I'm just wrapping, um, it, this isn't the best wire color to demonstrate. Um, yeah, yeah, Tashers. And that's, I mean, I rode a public school bus for friggin' 12 years, um, <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Do do do. Okay. Aw. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not responsible for the sticks up people's butts. Like, I'm not gonna yuck your yum. But, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I'm just doing me here. Like, if this is a video that like you paid me to make. Like, I don't know, Susan, technically you're the only one who's paid me so far. I'm sorry if you're not happy, like, for this video. <laughs> so, um, oh, Derpy, I hate that. Like, what do you do whenever your paintbrush is... Because, I mean, it gets all in the paint and it ruins it and then it just stays there forever. Yeah, get better brushes. Right on. Susan says, I'm fine. Sweet. <laughs> Right? Yeah, I'll do a tutorial. Uh, I'm kind of just messing around right now, but I'll do a tutorial with um, better colors that are, are more... Is it demonstrative? Is that the word? Um, that, that demonstrate better. You're, you'll be able to see what's going on a little better, hopefully. What that? Did you send it? Okay. Ooh! Oh, I'm way behind on questions. Okay. Um, I've been going crazy making Tree of Life pendants. How much would you sell them at? Okay. That is a genuine question. Uh, the question is, do you make any live streams on Pornhub? Um, I would be lying if I said that Randy and I had not thought about it. Because, y'all, this is... If you're interested, give it a Google. But people are posting, like, just perfectly regular, everyday stuff over on Pornhub because they give you so much more of the money as the creator. Like, they give you, like, 80% of the revenue that your videos generate, which I don't even know what YouTube gives us. Like, it's, like, a fraction, though. It is ridiculously... Um, yeah, it, we can't Twitch stream because it won't... Like, we tried it off of the phone. Like, I have a Twitch account and everything. Um, and it's just... It doesn't, like the quality is too low we need better internet before we can tackle twitch but i'm not saying that we won't i'm just saying that currently uh we it, we're unable to yep yeah it's not just crafters but it's just 
I don't know, and I, I kind of feel like, um, you know, I, I'd, I'd enjoy if the people who put on Pornhub, like the, the owners, like the people who do the web hosting, if they would create a competitor to YouTube, because, I mean, they have the finances for it. Um, but something that is, you know, safe for work, <laughs> that you're not going to have, like, your significant other come to the room and be like, um, excuse me, why, why does it show that you've been watching, uh, Pornhub for 10 hours? And it's like, it's for crafting, I promise. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It tickles me. It truly does. But I, I do feel like, um... I mean, Randy posts his Let's Play videos, right? And not on not on Pornhub or anything yet. I don't know. I'd I'd support him in that. Um, but he he's like Shh, I might actually um, he's not able to monetize his videos yet because he like he, he they keep moving the bar. Like every time he gets close to the you know four thousand view hours, then they're like, well, you need a thousand subscribers, so we hit that. But his view hours don't meet. So the the point is he is not able to monetize his video but people who aren't even the ones who own the video game or who own the music have tagged his video and they're able to monetize it ooh craft hub yes that would be pretty cool actually <laughs> um but it's so randy's frustrated because he's like i don't like doing all of this work like he enjoys it but he's like i don't want to do the work and have someone else be making the money off of it. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, and he's like, if I fight it and, for lack of a better term, lose, then I could lose my channel. You know, if that happens too many times. And so, it's just... It, it's very frustrating for him, and I get it. And I, I personally, on this channel, we got really lucky that uh, we kind of got grandfathered in starting the channel back in 2012. I was able to kind of just bypass that whole mess for the most part. Um, but I still, I don't like existing where I have to walk on eggshells to be like, ooh, can I say this? Am I going to get monetized? It's like, Shh, I'm going to say my funny joke. If I get monetized, I'll just be homeless. Like, that'll be fine. Um, I'll go live with my chicken. Uh, we'll figure something out, but it's, I, I, I don't, I don't like what they've got going on, but I also can't jump ship until I know for certain that, yeah, that whatever we move to is viable. Does 11 million views mean you only earn 12k? I have no idea, DJ. I think it's very different for different people, um, based on, like, the view time, how many ads are in the video, where the ads are placed, um, you know, things like that. Like, I'm sure y'all noticed we actually started adding more ads to our, um, to our videos, because that's, like, our top grossing video right now is, like, our, uh, experiments in resin, and I'm making $40 off of that video. Oprah Rich, like... <laughs> I can retire now. Um, and it has, like, it got, like, 200 some odd thousand views um, this month. And we're making $40. Which, I mean, I can't complain that uh, that's $40 more than what I had. But it just feels like, oof. So... Ad free, but you charge like a dollar video. Mm. No, we haven't gotten a plaque yet, Kelly. And it's also it's really important to me, like the whole core of what we do here at Back to Earth Creations with our videos and stuff, is I wanted these videos to be perfectly free, so that somebody who is in a position like how Randy and I were in when we first started making jewelry, it's like take that dollar that you would have spent to watch my video and buy beads or get like a bag of rice so you can feed yourself like you know I, I want to help more than I want to make money if I can make money by helping that's phenomenal but at the core of this the reason I do this is because I feel the need to help other people Randy and I needed help and didn't have it at, at first then you know we, we started doing what we were doing and it, it went really well but it's 
we could have really used free resources teaching us how to do what we wanted to do uh, so that we could be more economical about it. We, you know, we could be more efficient, um, make better choices maybe in, you know, how to display and where to vend and all of these different things. So, do what, love? Yeah. The forty dollars for the thing. Yeah. And the answer's no. We don't? No. Oh. Every month it, it it's depending on how many views it Yeah, it, it changes per month. Like if the um if the views go up, hopefully I don't know, th I thought that there would be some correlation between views going up and money going up, but it's like I I'm not gonna lie to you guys, we make less money off of YouTube with over a hundred thousand subscribers than what we made when we had thirty thousand. And it's crazy because our view time, like, we have, like, two and a half million view minutes, whatever that means, um, for this month. And it's, like, so our view times, our watch times, our subscriber, like, all of it's up across the board. I don't know what's going on. So instead of focusing on that um, too much, I'm just going to keep crafting and keep making videos and keep offering what we offer over on Patreon and, like... You know, every time in my life I've ever gotten, like, really money grubby and, like, scared about, am I going to have my bills paid? Is this going to be, you know, like, like what is going on here? Um, it's helped to just, to just relax and just do what we do as if I had all the money in the world and didn't have to worry. So, it's, I'm going to give these tutorials as freely as I would if I had ten million dollars in the bank. And then hopefully one day I'll have ten million dollars in the bank. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. Is that gonna snag on stuff? Yeah, that's gonna snag on stuff and get pulled out. Okay. I kind of feel like I don't know if I can fit it, but if I could, ah, uh, that's not gonna work though. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing with this, you guys, but I really, really think I like it. Oh, I don't like that part, though. That's sticking out weird. I think people came for your Dragon Eye videos because we have dumb brains with short attention spans. They got bored and left. Yeah, and that's fair. I mean, DIY stuff caps out. Like, there's not actually a huge market for DIY videos, but I'd live on the streets before I did, like, some sort of drama-mongering you know, video. Like, that's just, uh-uh. I feel like that's part of what's wrong with the world, is like, oh my god, this person said that on Twitter? What? So, like, this helps me sleep at night, doing these videos and stuff. So, there's that. Yeah. Well, thanks, Renee. And it's, it is, like, it's, I, I'm really happy and grateful, actually, that Randy and I get to do what it is that we do. Oh, I hate everything about that. You're driving me bonkers. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's a, it's a uterus and ovaries. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. My little pendant. Oh, sorry, no, I snipped the, it's, I've snipped the ovaries off. She'll be fine. She's got this. Oh, man, that's so mangled. <laughs> snip, snip. I really like this, though. Ooh, yes, I do. I love, absolutely love that. Um, yeah, partial restricting. <laughs> huh. Well, different strokes for different folks, Nina. And it's, it's easy to get caught up in the sensationalism of some different things. And it, it I can see the fun 
in participating in some of this drama and stuff that goes on in the online world, but I just feel like drama and gossip at their core are just a mud puddle of just, it's a pigsty. It's a nasty little mud puddle and there's poop and muck and all sorts of stuff in that water and it's really fun to roll around in like a pig in the mud but you get covered in shit and even if you're sitting on the sideline you're still you're gonna get stuff splashed up on you like it's just I just try to avoid do it love you're yeah you're still in the splash zone so I try to avoid splash zones as much as possible um because I don't want to get covered in shit um <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, if you're throwing it and you get it thrown at you, it's just, I mean, it's super fun while it's happening, but it just, it's going to stink. It's gonna. And that's what I've learned through human interaction, and that's why I hang out with y'all on the internet. And not saying that you're not humans, but that's why I hang out with y'all and, like, my cats and the dogs and Randy. Like, I just, I don't, I don't watch reality television. I don't. I try to not participate if I can help it. Because it makes me feel yucky in my tum-tum. Did you just assume I'm human? <laughs> oh, Derpy. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Hashtag bad person. Do what? Well, I mean, yeah. They are clearly a pigeon. Do not assume her pigeon gen- Randy. <laughs> Oh no. See, why do I talk? I should just be quiet. <laughs> he does. I don't know why I talk, you guys. Well, mostly because Randy and I think that we're funny, but. Huh. Oh no! <laughs> Almond milk is actually super yummy, though. Like, I really like it. Uh-oh. I really like that, you guys. I think I'm going to have to make more jewelry. <laughs> I think I might I think I might keep doing this. Oh, I haven't even had my lamp on. I've been sitting here working in like terrible lighting this whole time. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. <laughs> hey, Catherine! <laughs> From Lancashire in the UK. I, I love the back. Yeah! I, I actually super duper love the heck out of I mean it's a little bit mangled but if I don't tell anybody um it should be fine uh how did I do that crap <laughs> if only I caught it on video um <laughs> oh I'm very pleased with that though I like the little I like everything about this except for well that's kind of messy can I touch that up there we go. I'm more chair than human now. Yeah, have y'all watched any uh, Invader Zim fans out there? Netflix has like an hour or so long movie. Um, Invader Zim movie. Oh no, that's all just... It was pretty good. Randy fell asleep like he dad snored uh, and woke himself up during the movie. But it's because we were watching it at like 2 in the morning and we should have been asleep, but we weren't. So... So this is looser than I wanted it to be right here. Oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in a twist on that little loop. And then I'm going to fold its happy butt over <laughs> to hide it. <laughs> What's that laugh, babe? That time I rolled in pizza? That will never happen, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very, 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 very pleased with that. We actually made something in a live stream. And I like its little curly hair up at the top. 
And then again, though, I don't know. I think next time I'm going to use 26 gauge to um, wrap this part in the back. Or if I can help it more, the half round. Because, I don't know, the 28 gauge just kind of loses itself. 24 gauge would work well, too, though, I think. I'm actually just going to snip that right there. Taking care of. Joanna. Okay, I need to. Creativity happened, right? Ah, no, gosh, you guys, I've had it. I've had a lot of fun hanging out with y'all, and I kind of want to take you guys out to see the shed. Do you guys want to go on a field trip with me? Too bad, because I'm going. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Is it drop tested? Probably. <laughs> oh, also, I had leg day at the gym yesterday. Randy and I have worked out almost every single day this month. Oh my god, my legs. But I am... You're not a pop tart. That's not. A, I don't know why that pop tarts are delicious though. Um, You're a pop tart. No, but my legs. Oof, they're super sore. Like you know how whenever Z slides off of the couch and he puts his legs out straight behind me, he goes, like, "Ooh, my legs are broke." That's how I feel right now. But I'm not a dog. Okay, let's go outside. But first, I gotta set that right there. Hey, Randy. No, no, no. Can you hold the phone just real quick? I gotta put my hat. Now. <laughs> Ow. Ow! Please, just, okay. Oh, my legs. Oh, I put my shirt in the, in the washer. <laughs> I'm gonna get sunburned. Yeah, you are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I got my hat on. So, let's go out to the garden, you guys. This is my filthy ass kitchen. Don't look. It's gross. How do I get out of my house? Okay. I'm gonna turn this around. Did I? No, I didn't even press the button. Oh, it feels really nice out today, though. I need to get my yard mowed bad. We gave the guy who mowed us our grass a mower, and then he's been so busy um, with all the rain and all the yards and everything that he hasn't been able to come and mow as much. So it's, like, really high. This bed needs cleaned out. That one's been cleaned out. Oh, I've got a second wave of peas coming. Hey, little pea plant. Uh my squash plants are finally starting to die it's so weird usually they die off like much earlier from the uh, squash bugs like you can see they aren't even bothering to lay their eggs on the undersides of the leaves anymore I bet you'll see some nymphs just scatter I don't know I'll come out here and do yeah there's some nymph no that's just like bug poop or something I don't know uh, there's, <laughs> so yeah, some of the plants are dying. Volunteer. Tomato. I hear you, birds. I think I'm gonna let them run around in the yard. There's nothing that they can't tear up that's not already halfway torn up. <laughs> Eviction notice, girls. I'm gonna be moving into your house. Oh, mama's little dinosaurs. I love you. Do you want to say hey to everybody? Say hey, I'm a chicken. Bok bok. Bok bok. Look at those butts. That thick booty. Hey, Poppy. You thick AF, girl. <laughs> okay. So this is the shed. <laughs> and... We'll probably have to insulate these windows. Let's see. So, I don't know. Is this 10 feet wide? It might be. And I was thinking, I haven't talked to Randy about it yet, but I was like, what if, I was thinking this while I was putting my eyebrows on earlier for the live stream. I was like, what if we replaced these double doors with like weather sealed, but like, uh, like glass doors kind of, that way it would let a whole lot more light into the shed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, we did a thick litter 
on the bottom, but they, they hardly ever spend any time in here. Hi. Saffron, did you make eggs? Boogie, you're so good. But yeah, so they use that spot to lay their eggs, and then they all sleep on top of a thing somewhere else. So, <coughs> so we have a loft. Which I don't know what we'd really do with that, but so this is this is the before. Yeah, my my friend made it. He is the best. Um. So, but I feel like if we could get the natural light from like doors, and then maybe do like an awning over it to keep the sun out a little bit, that'd be really cool. But it's actually bigger than I was thinking it was. I hear you. They need fed. Let me feed them. I just put in those windows. I said, I know, Randy. I'm sorry, but I had the idea. Because wouldn't it be nice to, like, for shooting videos, if we had, like, the natural lighting, and then maybe, like, up here, um, up there, if we did, like, windows to, I just, gosh, I want natural lighting so badly. Um, I know. Okay. Let me set this up. So that y'all can hang out with my chickens. I haven't fed them yet today. So they are just hollering. I know, I know. Come and get it. Oh boy, y'all were hungry. I'm sorry. I should have come out here earlier. They are starving, just ask them. It just, they love it, it's their treats. Well, get in here, Ginger. Here. Buck, buck. Yeah, real starving. Because I came out and I gave them kitchen scraps this morning. Guys, I love these chickens so much. Like, it's ridiculous how much I love these dumb birds. <laughs> Mom, is it a chicken burbs? Yeah, right? Abby, how's it going? <gasps> Look at you being a bird. Burb, burb, burb. Yep, they've never seen food before in their whole life, have they? Oh. But yeah. But yeah, uh, I think it'd be good in here. I think we could fit a kiln and stuff. It doesn't get overly hot here in the shed. Though I do think we could do to vent it, let some circulation and stuff. Insulation would go a long way, I think. But Dad, uh, Fred did such a good job with the framing. But I do think if we had... I don't know, we'll have to look at and price things, but I feel like for a studio it'd be really cool to have um, just the big glass doors. Yeah, I'm gonna let you run around the yard all day. Just don't, don't go into the neighbor's yard. You don't speak English, I don't know why I'm bothering. <sighs> Sunflowers, which we had goldfinches out here. We had three goldfinches, which was really cool because I'd never seen a goldfinch in person before. Um, ooh, tomatoes. I'll come out later. I'm getting hit by bugs. Randy, I'm coming back inside. Put your clothes on. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to see it? Like, let's see if the chickens will come running. <whistles> Cue Walking Dead music. Well, three out of seven. It's not bad. 
Uh, Aaron, we live in um, Missouri. Sorry. I'll be back out to hang out with them later. Hopefully my sun jacket on so I don't get burnt. Or eaten up. Yeah. <laughs> That's the three that weren't eating, right? They're my three thickest girls. I think they take all the kitchen scraps from everybody else. But that's why I go out and feed him a couple times a day. I love those chickens so much. Okay. But yeah, so that's the shed. We have a lot of different ideas. I'm going to get some specific measurements. That way I can daydream on the car ride down. Really? We had a shing. I don't doubt it, though. Sunburn test. Do it again. Yep. Outside for like, I have no concept of time passage. Um, so that's the shed that hopefully we will be able to turn into a Von Coop for glass fusing and blowing and stuff. Oh my god, my feet got eaten up by mosquitoes. Okay, um, boop boop. Back in 1994 when I was heavily into drugs and rave parties. I mean, a necklace joke around the original smaller Polly Pockets. If you look up the original Polly Pockets, you'll see that they're really so cool. I loved my Polly Pockets, just saying. <laughs> he went naked, I'm going back to bed. Night night, Nina. Good dreams. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm excited about that shed. Dragon Con is Labor Day weekend. We leave Tuesday morning. So we'll see about that. You know, the skin quick red and hurts. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Randy did a really good job putting those windows in. <laughs> I'll see if we can't, like, I don't know, maybe when I hit like a million subscribers, or maybe when Randy hits, I don't know, I'll have to talk to him about it. But I think we have a friend, a photographer friend who does boudoir shoots. If I could get Randy to do a boudoir shoot for me, Oh, of just him being like, like wearing like a bed sheet, like, <laughs> like with like the fairy lights in the back and everything. That would be amazing. I need that in my life. Um, yes, actually, that's a really good point, Tashers. This will be the last live stream before Dragon Con. I didn't realize that. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to live stream from the van while driving on Tuesday. I don't know what, um, yeah, Patreon exclusive. Oh my gosh, Randy, will you be a Patreon, babe? And like sell lewds of yourself on Patreon? Be a thought? Yeah, would you be my thought? Would you be our thought? He's not saying no, boom. All up on <laughs> well, yeah. Again, I'm not seeing a downside here. Yeah. Oh, with your little furry butt. He's so cute. He just point. But he just poised for me. Yeah. Tool belt, Randy. Yes. Oh, I want to be the one who sprays them with water to make them look sweaty for his photo shoots. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so sorry. We went down that path for y'all. Um. You already, Daniel's gonna make you a kilt, honey. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Um, in different gaming shirts, right? Oh, I can sell my bath water. You can sell your bath water? You hate taking baths. I do. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna go, um, <laughs> live the dream a little bit. <laughs> do what? Ew, no! Oh, scuzzy bath water. <laughs> I'd buy it. I live with the man and I'd buy it. <laughs> oh no. We will keep well, you guys. A wonderful time for Christina to come yeah, in. hey Christina. <laughs> it's, it's getting weird. Oh no. <laughs> um You're not sorry. I'm not sorry. You're right. I'm I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not as sorry as I should be. Um <laughs> Uh, we will keep you guys up to date, though, through Instagram, Patreon. I don't know if we'll be on Facebook. Um, the hat came off. It did, I realized, as inside. Um, 
But yeah, thanks so much, you guys, for hanging out with us. Uh, check out Patreon and Etsy and all that good stuff. Uh, tag us and post pictures, and you can join the after party on Discord, which is pretty cool. There's links for that, that down in the video description. And um, double check and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not subscribed or if you thought that you were subscribed because apparently a bunch of other YouTubers have been having problems. I hadn't noticed, but I also don't pay a lot of attention. Uh, but like I have had people comment that they aren't getting notifications and stuff anymore. So there is that, but I'm really glad to share some laughs with you guys. I'm really, I know that Randy and I can be a particular kind of weird and I'm really glad that y'all hang out with us because it's fun to get to hang out. So thank you guys again. We will see y'all when we get back from the mythical land of Atlanta. Like Atlanta is. But yeah. Bye guys. Happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>